you. Hey, what's going on? Hey, man, is everybody there? Uh, Tony is still in route, but everybody else is here. All right, well, I said 8 o'clock, and it's like 8, 17 or 18 now. Well, you want to tell us what's going on? No, it's all right. It's y'all's time frame. I'm okay. coming in. Okay, so you need a door up. Ha! Get out of the way. OBS coming through. Dun, 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 dun. Surprise! Dude, look at that truck. We get a new shop truck and a bunch of parts to build a hot rod. Look at this freshness. 91, one owner. 30 some odd thousand original miles, one repaint because you know all the crap sucked uh, in the 90s with all that, what clear was it? Clear off. coat peeling. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've been collecting some parts and uh, we still got some big ones to find. Uh, we need to find a motor. Uh, it's the most biggest one. But uh, this is going to be our build for uh, the week. This truck or all these parts into some old hot rod? Here's the deal. I've just been talking to everybody out there on the old interwebs. All right. We get a little bit of stuff every once in a while. People say, oh, they got little minions that come in at night and finish these cars. And, you know, they get help and all this. And um, we know that's false. So we're going to work on the old social interwebs here. We got regular cameras uh, going to put it down and document it. And your mission, should you accept it, because you guys are all truck guys and everybody loves these things here. And you know these like the back of your hand. It's 8, 17, 8, 18. Let's call it 8, 20. I want this truck completely down to the frame, all the way back up, the way we build them. High, heavy horsepower motor, big wheels, big brakes, big suspension, static ride by beer time on Friday. Friday. <laughs> this right. Friday? No paint. <laughs> oh, we're going to paint it. Paint oh. it. We're going to paint it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> what color are we painting it? I think we can go back with this blue because we are building an OBS. Let's kind of keep it kind of slick, but you know, uh, kind of the grown-up version of what they used to build with these things. Uh, a little bit better, a little bit faster, a little bit cooler. Slightly throwback, but with a lot more modern touch, like yes. we always do. Yeah. Yes. I hope, you did, I hope you did a good job. And here's the kicker. I don't know if you noticed, but a few guys are not here right now because they've taken some vacation time. So once Tony gets here, it's five guys, five days, done. Why not? We better get started. We've done a lot of other things. What do you say out there, social interwebs? Can they do it? Five guys, five days, down the frame, all the way back up, running and driving, perfect. Big wheels, big brakes, big motor. You're wasting our time. What? You're wasting our time. <laughs> hey, I want to go from small block to big block. <laughs> so there you go. Keep watching on all the social uh, channels. We're going to be handling it uh, as best we can. I've got to go find some parts. Chad, I need a motor. Call uh, Texas Speed, see if they have one on the shelf and if they can get it here. Okay. There you go. I don't know what else to say, but thanks for all of your encouragement and thanks to the fans for watching all these years. Now you get to watch some crazy cool shit. Boom! What's wrong with y'all? It's only been two hours. It has been two hours and ten minutes. Oh. Crushing it. What are we putting in it? Where's Chad? He's got the rear shot dropping off the rear. Oh, I like it. Look, Chad's back. Yeah, I got the rear end dropped off. Everything looks good to have it knocked out. Okay, well, motor's fixing to come out, so what did you find going in? Texas Speed and Performance has a motor in stock. The problem is they can't get it out here for a couple days because they are shorthanded. So if we want it, we got to go pick it up. What is it? It's a Texas Speed and Performance LS Base 454. Ooh, that's what I said. I wanted to jump from small to big. That's big. All right, how many horse? It's around 600, 650 horsepower. Is it dynoed ready, top to bottom? All set up. They had it for someone and they uh, backed out. So it's just been sitting there. How far is that? Like 200 miles? They're in Georgetown, so it's about a two and a half ish three hour drive depending on traffic we beat the traffic we get back out of austin before the traffic all right grab your shit let's go road trip you couldn't talk them into delivering it what's wrong with you <clears throat> boom so there you go with a little uh trickery of camera we're automatically here 
Actually, it took two hours, 15 minutes. Very good time, by the way. Here we are at Texas Speed and Performance. These guys better be ready to rock for us, dude, because we need to be back in three hours or less. <laughs> Age before beauty. Right. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on, Richard? How you doing? Well, you're saving my ass you if you got this motor. Right, how's it going, man? If you got this thing ready to rock, you'll be saving me. But yeah. now that I'm here, holy cow, dude, you guys got an operation. Yeah, man, let me take you for a tour around. We'll check it out. Yeah, so we pretty much do it all here in house. So we grind our own cams here in house. All the cylinder heads are done here in house. The castings are all poured in the U.S. And uh, we bring them in and finish out all the machine work here. Over here, they take care of all the blocks from the, the boring it out, honing, all that stuff's done over here. We do all our re-sleeves on one of these two centroid machines here. And that's what we're getting, one of your re-sleeve motors? Yeah, yeah. So basically, you know, you start with a factory block, uh, factory sleeves, we cut them out. And then, uh, you know, we put in our, our hardened sleeves here, interlocking. It gives a ton of strength and rigidity to the side. And I mean, we got people making 1600 horsepower with these blocks, with a four bolt block, you know, with the half inch head studs, they don't lift the heads or anything. So making uh, big power going fast for sure. That's perfect. Man, I got to tell you, I didn't realize you guys were turning out this much product. I knew you were big, but. Oh. <laughs> Through here, they're getting all the uh, the heads done, all the machine work here. Super cool. We can check out the uh, engine build room over here. Yep. So this is where, after everything's all cleaned up and machined, they bring it in here and uh, and finish up the blocks and everything. So clean, clean and quiet room. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> so Rodney Pope here is the uh, lead engine builder. Rodney. He would have he would have put your engine together, and you're basically looking at something like this. You know, a re-sleeve uh, LS block here, coming together. So very similar. That is pretty cool. You guys are jamming. You guys are killing it. All right, where's this motor of ours? Right through here. There we go. What? Yeah, we uh, we got a, one of the local guys here does a, some awesome artwork with spray paint, so we figured we'd get it done as quick as we could and do a, a nice paint job on we, it for you. So You got that done in two hours? Yeah, we got it done in two hours, man. So well, we, it's we, we hustled for you. Kick ass, man. So I got 675 horse, LS. Three sleeved? Yeah, it's a re sleeved uh, 454. So uh, it's already locked up, man. Yeah, well, let me get the uh, screwdriver right here. We'll pop it open, man. I gotta let you check it out. Yeah, unscrew it. You guys can take that top off. I'll get the front. Look at you guys. What do you got? Somebody that just had some spray paint inside to go to work? Yep, yeah, that's what they do. You know, had them come on down and finish it up for you. That's going to fit just fine. Oh, yeah. We figured while you were driving down, we could get you something a little more, uh, a little custom here. I love custom, but yeah. now I'm going to have to make like Smoking the Bandit and head back because uh, I got my load of Coors and I'm ready to go. Well, we got to get... throw this thing on. Yeah, let's get this back wrapped up and get in I your truck. I think I backed up to the right door even. Kick ass, guys. Hey, hey thank you, man. Richard. We're going to be putting this thing in by evening. Thank you very much. Heck yeah, can't wait to see this bad boy in there. It'll be in by morning. It'll be on wheels. What are you doing, man? That thing ain't going nowhere. Okay. Do you really think that's going to blow out? I'm not worried about blowing out. Who? All right, so we got uh, all the rear end of the truck torn apart and they're working on the front. I'm going ahead and opening up the Right Tech stuff. Uh, this is a new kit for them, new kit for me, and uh, just wanna see how it lays out on the chassis, see what I've gotta take off the chassis uh, before it can go on, get the chassis cleaned up, painted, and ready for it. So I'm uh, going through it, make sure it's all here, getting the instructions, and we'll get the back of this chassis knocked out.
Not even five o'clock. That's what we just said. Great. There's still six hours of work. Oh, one of them's, uh, <laughs> one of them's girlfriend uh, decided to come up there real quick and paint some stuff on it. I think it's pretty cool. She That's like does awesome. graffiti stuff. She did a heck of a job. So get this thing off and get it inside. I got a forklift right here, so hold on. 675 horsepower from Texas Speed and Performance. All right, cool. So, uh, boom, how are we doing here? Well, you're what? What are we? Nine hours in? Yeah, about that. I think right. we killed Not I mean, Keenan okay. and Tony are already sanding the so uh, cab of the truck. Obviously, we've got the bottom side of this completely coated. We're waiting to dry to flip it over and do that tonight, obviously, because we want to get the motor down in the morning first thing. Okay. But we're getting ready to haul off a bunch of the scrap we're not going to use. Um, but all in all, I don't think you could ask for more in nine hours. Well, we're not stopping for tonight, are we? Can't we assemble no. stuff? No, not stopping. Yes. No, I said i got to wait till it dries. Yeah. Okay. Only hearing part of it. Well, should we be assembling stuff? Or? Yes. Yes. All right. right. That is done, done, done. Front runners on it from uh, uh, American Billet. And yep. it's been oh. dynoed, ran, it is ready. Yeah, as soon as we haul off this junk, clear this area again, we'll get the new parts in and start building. Well, I would say that's all junk too. Yeah. Yeah, we might need the drag link, but that's We're gonna like keep the a couple thing. of pieces, yeah, that's it. I thought we were gonna have to weld a couple of things. No, it's a full bolt on. There will be a cut for a notch, but we'll cut, we'll do the little touch up on the cutted yeah. edge and uh, no big deal. It's more important that we get it painted and dried in time. Yeah. Flip it and rip it. What's left tonight? We don't uh, need to quit for another five or ten hours, right? Right. So, what, we've got a ton of parts we still got to unbox, uh -huh. make sure they're all correct. Yep. we got to have everything ready tomorrow to assemble. Once this frame is dry tonight, tomorrow is blow and go. Motor, trans, suspension, um, they'll have the cab in for paint tomorrow. As soon as the cab is done, probably Wednesday morning, it's going back on, rewired in. Steering column is go, go, go. We have to get to certain points every night to make this work. But you know yep. what I always say, get ahead. Open the boxes, assemble everything because we can't make it up on the end. Yeah. No. Nope. Make it up now. I'm glad you All suggested right. that. Yeah. I'm just saying, I ain't telling. I will tell you this much. I've been on the car. I did all the driving, all the radio working, and uh, handled some business on the phone, and it's beer time Monday. To be honest with you, it's a lot of radio working. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what did you have to listen to his radio working? <laughs> Why didn't you get right. him to bring us some ice creams? You guys ready to call it? Hell yeah. Yeah. It's one hell of a day. We got a lot done. We did. Yeah. Same start time tomorrow, boys, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? Drop the motor trans in, all the suspension. Get this thing really rocking. Day two of the OBS build. We uh, left sometime around 8, 30, 9 o'clock last night. I'm not sure. Uh, go in, see what the guys got done, and uh, see where we're at and what we got to do today. It's going to be killer. Only three days left after this. Look who's here. Daddy's home. It's nice of, him to, nice of you to show up. I'm only like 45 minutes late. Well, you are the boss, so I guess you yeah, can do Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, tell me where we're at. What happened today? What happened yesterday is what I want to know. I think we had a great day yesterday for tearing a complete truck apart and uh, Jeez, dude. I mean, you have like already got the frame done. Got notches in. We're putting the ride tech in. So notches are cut, bolted. I'm finished bolting them up right now. We're going to have the rear end back any minute now from getting the gears put in it. And then we'll be able to wrap up rear suspension and I'll move to the front. Yeah. Then we're going brake lines in under the motor. Motor trans together dropped in while Jeremy is doing front suspension. Yep. Um, over here, what else, Chad? Uh, drive shaft, obviously, we can't get made until we ha have the truck sitting down. So we're going to continue the chassis till we have a rolling chassis tonight. So That's you're going to be roller tonight with 
motor and trans in. Yes. And rear in. And so. brake and fuel line start and hopefully fuel tank in as well. Fuel tank in. Um, brakes on? And everything. Yeah, brakes are completely assembled and ready to go, pre-assembled to go on the vehicle. Oh, oh. That is some stopping power. They're yeah, massive they're and uh, Little Shop's really stepped up with the parts you need to be able to adapt the Willwoods to your OBS. Uh, which is a big thing because Willwood doesn't make a direct kit. They rely on Little Shop, so yeah. Chad was able to get all the parts from them and get them here. This is rad. That's some serious stopping power. Well, we got 678, 675. Let's go ahead and say 678. Who's going to know the difference? <gasps> uh, anyways, so uh, yeah, we got some horsepower. Brakes are done. Frame. Golly, man, y'all are like mice on cheese yesterday. Well, you know, we tried. You gave us a challenge, and we know it's going to take every bit of that to get it done in five days. So. Super killer. We got our uh, suspension Chad got a parts. bunch of the parts laid out. I mean, Chad, what are all these parts? They're everything. Uh, anything you need to build a truck in five days? Yeah. <laughs> everything yeah. from billet grills to roll pans. Uh, yanks and a torque converter, so you got a yank. Yeah, we got all the, well, we'd show you the cams and all, or not, yeah, the cam and all that stuff, but it's in it. The rear end's got all the Yukon gears and axles in it. Airmotive's in this. This is their first ever prototype of their new fuel system for the 88 to 98. What? We're getting so, prototypes? Yep. It's the first one they ever built. Now they're actually making them for it. Uh, the Budnick wheels and tire, or wheels are here. Have you the seen those? Here. Yeah, those things are killer. Pull that bad boy out. Yeah, first time I've seen it. Yeah. Look at that, guys and gals. Yeah, that is a killer wheel for this truck. 20 by eight and a half in the front, 20 by 10s in the rear with matching steering wheel. Yep. We're going straight up early 2000s build, aren't we? Yep. Heck yeah. You guys are rolling this side of the uh, shop is going to be tranny, transmission, engine, rear end, wheels, tire, suspension on the ground today. Yep. Let's go see what Pate's doing. All right. These guys are kicking ass over there. How are y'all doing over here? Uh, we're good. We're in good position. We got cab ready for paint today. Hood been cut in today. Fenders will be ready today. Bumper will be ready today. Grill. <laughs> uh, the only thing we don't have ready right now is the bed. And that'll be the last thing that we do. So. Well, yeah, the, the, we'll last, today. the last few feet of a truck is yep. pretty easy. Yep. Look at the inside of this. Look at the floorboards. Super clean. Oh, yeah. That is crazy clean. Mm -hmm. Man. So we're killing it today. What's the color look like? The color looks like brand new OEM. Man. That is nice. Yeah. Don't fall down, secondary cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> that is freaking cool. Oh, and this is a, a, a cow hood. Yep. All right, that's going to look good. We're going to black that out? Yeah. Killer. All right, so what y'all's going for the end of the day, or the night, day, as they say? By night, that will be painted, the hood will be painted, fenders will be painted, and the bumpers will be painted. So you'll have almost half a truck ready by tonight. Because tomorrow morning they're planning on putting this back on the front. It'll be ready for it. Kick ass. Y'all keep killing it. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, I'm gonna buy y'all some breakfast tacos. Oh, thanks. Can y'all split one? Because this is a very expensive project. Pretty hungry though. Here we are. <laughs> so there you go, day two of the OBS build, and uh, my guys are killing it. Uh, they seem to be happy with where they're at. But one thing I know after doing this 145 something times is a problem always presents itself. Something will go wrong. That's just the way building cars works. Keep hanging out. Keep watching us on all the social channels, Gas Monkey and Richard. And uh, thank you guys for all your support out there. Keep watching the brand. Get on the merch store. Get some stuff. I got to pay for this. And uh, woo! Hey, Jason. Yeah. Got any updates on that rear end? Uh, yeah, they said it'd be done today around 3. Good, because I'm about to have all this stuff hung and yeah, could be done if I had one. Well, originally they told us Wednesday morning, but they pushed to get it done faster than that. I know we want it faster than even that, but it's the best we can do right now. I want to get that uh, motor and trans in before you move to front suspension so I'm not in your way. Okay. Because we've got everything here. It should take me about half an hour to get everything buttoned up and drop in if you want to help me drop it in. Yeah, just let me know when you need a hand. Okay. Second day, paint's mixed, truck's in the booth. And it's not even noon yet. Kicking ass.
So one of the things that uh, we're doing, since this is only a five day build, I don't have time to build entire brake line setups for the truck. So I'm gonna utilize the parts that I can use off the old brake system, because it was practically brand new anyway. Cut off the ends, obviously put the fittings that we need, but speed, everything's about speed. Get the uh, brake lines in, I've gotta get the motor mounts down, I gotta get the motor transmission in this morning. So fast, that everything has to move at this speed. Get things done, move on, keep the project moving, because if we don't, we're not gonna make our five day deadline. Look at you guys go. I can see it right from my window. So we did right at 12 hours flat yesterday, 8.30 to 8.30 or so. And today we got started closer to eight, so we're eight to two, we're six, nine. That makes 15 hours in. And you had to drive all the way down there and pick up the motor and come back. Well, yeah, but y'all were working that time. Hey, thank God. So uh, 15 hours in, how are we looking on our rear end? Is it gonna be ready? Uh, they said three o'clock, right? They'll be done today. Yeah. All right. And if you go in there, you're gonna be pleasantly, uh, pleasantly surprised to see blue paint all over the entire truck, minus the bed. Well, I saw the inside of the hood this morning. No, no, no. He's painting, he's the, painting the whole cab, the fenders, the hood, and everything right now. Everything. Man, maybe we'll be ready early. Maybe huh. I can start Yo, drinking hey, beer on Friday You need Friday to go morning. walk away before you jinx us. This is what <laughs> always happens. <laughs> no, this is badass, man. Yep. It's gonna look good. I'm really impressed so far, guys. Thank you. Keep kicking ass and taking names. All right. So that's what I'm talking about. 15 hours in, all the way down to the frame, already going up with the motor and training and suspension in it. Uh, the cab doors and fenders are already been painted. Uh, they're gonna dry overnight. This thing will be sitting on all fours this evening. My guys are badass. All right, should we put a roll pan on it or a bumper? I don't know, I kinda like the roll pan, but. I kind of like the bumper too. Damn, that's heavy. Hmm. Keep it stock. I think we should rock with the roll pan. They want 80s. Let's give them 80s. All right, good. Well, we already molded one in, so. Damn, it's a good thing we got that one done. Hmm. You like that? <laughs> you like that? Keenan decided to roll. Well, roll the roll pan too. Anyway, I rolled the welder over here to weld it. That's what you're doing. You're good. You like it? Let's put this in the trash. The OBS scrap pile. Stay safe. Hey. Jeremy. What? You're supposed to tell me. You, start the wheels and stuff. you know what? I thought way ahead of you. I've already set you up a nice dolly shot right here. Got the Budnick wheels all laid out. That way you can get some good clean shots of just how badass these things are. I mean, look at them. Shiny. Give it a shot. Gotta get our tired brains to work and then we'll be out of here. Heck yeah. It's a roller by the end of yeah, the second is. day. Ready? Yep. You wanna bring it back? Whoa, don't run over my Keenan. Let's hope I keep centered. That's all I care about, so the mount section. That was good timing. We need to bring, hey, we need to bring the front of it over to Jeremy a little bit. Front, over to front of Jeremy, yeah. 
front of the chassis? Yeah. One, Ready? Two. Oh, well, all I did was pull the alignment. <laughs> we haven't tightened up the bolts yet. Stab it and just swing yeah, the jack around. Yeah, we just need a little bit. Like, start over there and come this way. It'll bring it to you. Yeah. We don't need much. There you go. You got solid there. Okay. Okay, set her down. How's that look? Less, Much less like the cab was popping a willy. No, nope. plenty of clearance on the. Yeah, now we got clearance there. on the gas tank too, because it was like right on it. You got plenty everywhere here. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Look at all that firewall clearance and everything. Dude. Starting to look sharp. Dude, you guys killed it on that wheel selection. That's a successful day too. Yeah, let's go home boys. I'm tired. I still think we could get further. Just kidding. You wanna stay? No. <laughs> Katie? You wanna stay? We'll worthless tomorrow if we stay any yeah. longer. I'm out of here. Blow this popsicle stand. Gotta confess, I left a little bit early yesterday and uh, I don't know where they're exactly at. I know where they wanted to be, but we'll just have to see. We're gonna go check in on the paint shop first because <clears throat> as everybody knows, that is the hardest thing is getting that paint down, getting it right and getting it show quality while at the same time only having a little bitty couple of hours to do it. Um, I know my guys are tired, but I've been feeding them well. They've had tacos and pizza and, well, tacos and pizza. But they're going to get a whole lot of beer on Friday. What's up? What do you mean morning? Did y'all leave? No, come on now. I was told everybody got here about 1130. Woo! We haven't stopped yet. What's up with this? Is this our cow hood? Why are y'all acting so tired? Because <laughs> if I use any more brain power, I won't be able to finish this hood. Because this takes a lot of brain power. Yeah. Well, I don't have beds in there, still getting done. That's half the damn truck, man. Yeah. We got a tailgate, outside of bed, cow. All the accessories, small stuff is already painted. So the cab's back over there. The cab's on the truck. What? Yeah. I got to go see progress because that was not happening. When I left, there wasn't even brakes and wheels. Holy cow! Bravo, guys! Unbelievable! Day three, here we are. Yep. No, I added it up on the way in. Good job, guys. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Even you, Chad. Wow! I added it up on the way here, based on y'all leaving around 11, 11.30 last night. Yep. You're 26 total hours in. Just over a day worth of effort. Yeah. What? It was not, two days. Not a work day, but we're talking a whole day. Oh, hours. just over 24 hours. Got it, got it, got yeah. it. So uh, we're absolutely killing it, guys. That is amazing. Oh, yeah, it's coming man. together very nicely. We hit a few snags yesterday. Look at the size of those brakes. Yeah, dude. Those things Massive. are huge. 16 inch. You know, inch. back in the day when guys were building trucks like this, uh, they had, the brakes looked like that, but they were the, the fake little uh, things you put between the, <laughs> the disc, wheel. It's called a disc simulator. Disc simulators. Yep. <laughs> we ain't using that shit. No. Whoa! All right, so I am absolutely floored. I am impressed. Are the door rubbers and everything already back in? Uh, most of them, with exception of the cab rubber that I haven't got in yet. Kick ass, so what's the plan today? Everything. Yeah, I mean, we still- Oh, are we gonna drive it today? You're trying to beat it by two days? No. Okay. I wish, hey, I'd like to say we'd win that, but uh, we still got brake lines, fuel lines, all the plumbing now that we have a cab down, steering, uh, then we've got to get the wiring in order. We've got a lot of work, core support, radiator, yeah, even though it looks a long way there, we still got a lot left. Well, I'll let you get to it. So there you go, guys and gals. 26 hours in. We got the cab back on, fully I'm painted. Too tired for this. Uh, we'll start with core supports and go front to back. Wiring, lines, brake lines, fuel lines, you name it. It's all going on. I can't be more proud of my guys. Uh, they still got a long ways to go. As a matter of fact, they're not even halfway through the amount of hours that I allotted for them. So maybe I got to take that in consideration next time. Um, we appreciate your support. Keep watching. Keep tagging your friends. Keep telling them what's up. See ya. You guys want some donuts or tacos? Uh, He's like, didn't I we just leave I can't imagine being here? over here.
Tell you what though, that thing turned out really well from what it was. Yeah. Dude, for a truck bed, I mean, that's, I mean, Richard uh, was concerned about it. Now it's, yeah, considering that thing's 28 years old. Yeah. And we, we've got five whole days to do the entire truck, not just paint it. Mm -hmm. Dude, I wouldn't yeah. even put the rubber mat in there he was talking about. I wouldn't I mean, either. Okay, how do you want to do this? Slide out. Okay. I'll, let me get back here. I'm really used to this. Yeah, well, I can grab right anywhere. Who's ready for this? Ready? Okay. Yep. Rub. Just watch this die. Okay. I'm coming down if you can. Okay. Can you come up? Yep. I just had to get my hands under it. You good? Yep. Okay. Is that how it was? Yeah. I think it turned out great. I love this color. Okay, now that we've gotten that done, um, we're focusing today on wrapping up the chassis. I mean, we've got, I've still got a little bit left on the rear brakes. We've got rear brake cables, fuel lines, brake lines, all the plumbing and starting nice. to get the radiator in place, core support, headlights. I mean, any and everything, maybe even inner fenders so we can start plumbing up the tanks and everything else. You guys, what are you focusing on today over here? Bed, tailgate, wiper okay. cow. And, and that should be. Do you have anything that you're missing or we have any problems that we need to know about? Not yet. Not yet. Because we're finding out that last night late that we don't have a lot of the fittings we need for the plumbing. So Chad's going to make a mad dash to Summit, try to get all that stuff. These are the little things that are going to start holding us up. And here we are midway point roughly this afternoon. So, well, that's that's the plan for the morning. We, I think, get together back again at lunch and kind of reassess where we're at at that point and take it from there. Kind of half a days at this point. All right, break. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Spaghetti, as my uh, old buddy Charles used to say, spaghetti, lots of it. So we need the PSI kit, the wiring, oh, there's that. Now I need the Dakota Digital kit, gauges, gauges, oh, perfect. Hey, Jason. Yes, sir. I got the gauges from Dakota Digital here. Good, because we are getting really close to needing that. Have you looked at them yet? Nope. Oh, dude, those are sweet. You like those? What do you got? Gauges. Ooh. You need some of these for your truck, sir. Uh, we're wiring, yeah. I'm actually tackling the wiring right now, but I need that uh, PSI harness and stuff for the engine. You should have it, right? Don't you have it? Right here. More. Is it? Boom. That doesn't look like wiring. It is. It's a new kind. <clears throat> oh, geez. Yeah, we, got, we got wiring, pump, fun wiring, fun oh, wiring. Man, there's a whole bag of wiring in there. There's a whole day's worth of wiring in there. Well, we're to the point now that we're ready to put the bed down on the truck. Uh, the paint turned out great, the roll pan on the back. The only issue we have is with our new high-tech uh, ride tech suspension in the rear, we have to eliminate the center brace in the bed, which means literally cutting the entire brace off the floor without damaging the paint on top because of heat or slipping with a blade and cutting through the floor. So no real pressure. <laughs> you know, we've only got two days left. We 
going to find out. Okay, did you finally there. find the happy medium? Yeah, and they're tight. I think, well, yeah. we've, we got cinder and all that stuff. We've it's tested it. We know what ohms we got, so we can set our gauges. That is such a cool setup. First one. Yeah. So you're ready for the bed? I think so. If cut the, the cross member out, it's ready to go, so it should fit right on. Let's throw it on. Jeremy, if we lift, will you take care of the filler neck? Oh, geez, it's give you. me the hard job. No, oh, is it hard job? I don't know. I forget that was easier. Oh, it sucks. Well, then you want me under nope. the car doing it? Or truck? No, I'm just talking it up so it seems oh, like okay. I'm doing something. Gotcha. <laughs> Let's do this. Well, I'm gonna treat God. Well, it's lighter than the cab. How are you guys? Left to right, are we good? Yeah, is. I didn't hear anything break. Forward. God, I love this blue truck. Is it possible to have too many blue vehicles? I could own this too. No. Dude, I love this truck. You guys have won me over the OBS world. If I can have this one. Gangsta. Dude, this thing is badass. Those wheels, those gigantic brakes. Yeah. Yeah, those brakes are. That's wow. all that tire you can get in there. This is a great victory. This is a great victory for tonight, but I'm ready to go home. Getting rid of that bumper. Great. Oh, yeah. How does the roll pan look? Wait till the lights are in it. Tomorrow the tailgate's on. Oh, that's clean. That is super clean. Oh, yeah. We got, uh, got LEDs. LED set up. God, this is such a badass truck. What do you think, Tony? I'm tired. Let's Dude. Go home, boys. Let's Day clean three. up and get out of here. You sure you don't want to stick a passenger fender on there? Nope. <laughs> Let it go. Let's roll. All right. Well, Gotta have something left for tomorrow. It's nice for not hey, being a dually. Where's, you the, know, where's the new tail lights? Where's the new tail lights? <laughs> Bring them over. Quick. Yep, we're wrapping up. We're gonna get out of here right now. Chad, you get here at seven in the morning, you can put the lights in. But tonight we're done. What was the challenge? I've seen some people comment online saying Where's the challenge? You guys always get it done. They yeah, should but be. Never have we done it in a week. Never. That's true. But yeah, there should be Let's some get, kind of payoff. Yeah. There should be something. What do you think, Dean? I'm not Dean. No, but what do you think about the bonus? That. I don't know, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true and very fair. <laughs> no, but yeah, he says we're going to start at 8 o'clock every day. We're going to work to whenever, but I could have sworn to saw him leave. Six bucks. What? Speak of our bonus, what's in the bag here, boss? Uh, it's not cash because y'all are spending it all on that. No, I don't think we're spending. Oh, dude, so do we get to keep it? No. What's up, everybody? Uh, sorry for being late. I uh, overslept a little bit. Uh, you know, boss man problems. Golly. So beds on. Yep. Brake lines on. Yep. Fuel lines on. Yep. He's already doing oh, a AC. Yeah. You got a core support. You're about to have a radiator. New gauges? Yep. <laughs> so everybody, it's uh, day four. Four. Uh, we did 12 hours the first day, 14 hours the second day. What did we end up with yesterday? Eight to? We went eight to 11. 41 hours in, just over a regular work week. This is super badass. I'm pretty stoked on it. Uh, we've got uh, things going together. Uh, we've had a couple of hiccups, but nothing too bad. And it uh, looks like everything is sizing up the way we wanted it. Thanks to everybody out there that's watching. Make sure you're making your comments, tag us, talk about it. Five day OBS build, challenge anybody else to do it. Get over here, see us, buy some merch, support the brand. Thank you very much. It's gonna get noisy, I'm going to my office. So here we are in the middle of the morning of day four and we're getting really close to uh, wrapping a lot of things up. The body's coming together really nicely. We're gonna have the glass in this morning. Chad's out getting AC parts. Uh, Jeremy's finishing wiring up the motor. Keenan's in there working on gauges. Tony and I are working on brakes and front headlights and things like that. So a lot of little things, details, details. Everything is happening right now, but it'll start really showing this afternoon because we need to have a physically fully put together truck minus maybe a hood and hoping to hopefully fire it this evening. Okay, Roki, you want front or back? Why well, do you get the easy stuff? Um, um, there. Now we can come back.
Yes. Got it. Uh, yes. Winning. Perfect. We need it. The winning part. Tone? Yeah. Hey, would you see if this will work? Oh, I'll make it work. Thank you. Got the right wire, so we're halfway home. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Chad. So uh, it's about 12.35 our time. Um, we haven't ate in a while. The guys have been asking about ice cream the entire week. I went home to uh, take my dog out and change clothes and uh, picked him up some ice cream sandwiches along the uh, way home. I was like, who the hell is delivering ice cream this time of night? Y'all been talking about ice cream the entire Good week. Ice cream man's here? Look at that so loud. Yeah. He's, He's got, got that new. Oh, okay. I was like, bro. You get Sweet. an ice cream sandwich? Yes. You get an ice cream sandwich? See, he knows how to put you a smile on my face. Ooh. I'm like the Oprah of ice cream sandwiches right Everyone now. Hey, you gotta work within your budget. Man, I wanted a <laughs> Neapolitan. <laughs> you remember what I just said about donuts? It's out the window now. You said you didn't want donuts in the morning. No, but all in all, uh, we're down to those last few things, but everybody's tired and uh, we're starting to make mistakes and that's the time you just shut it down for the night and start in the morning. It's right ready now. to run. I didn't kill it though. Woo! You didn't? Right. Probably just loaded up on fuel. Yeah. I'll wake you up. The tune right. All right. That's awesome though. Do, 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 do. Killer. So it's uh, day five. This is it. This is uh, when we uh, decide if uh, we made the right bet or not. I think the guys have uh, worked till last night about, well, this morning until about 2.30 a.m. So they put in a long, long day yesterday. And uh, as you can tell, my, my limited enthusiasm, we're all a little tired. It's been a hellacious run for uh, uh, five days now. Um, so we got a lot of things going on. Let's go see how they're doing. What's the deal, Pickles? Uh, tired. <sighs> what time is it? Uh, You're about nine fifteen. Hour and fifteen minutes late today. I took well, a, I took a three hour nap. <laughs> Did you? Mm -hmm. Y'all were here till uh, two thirty or three. I heard. Yeah, four hours. An hour drive. Yeah. Well, why'd you even drive? Why didn't you just sleep here? I don't know, man. I just wanted my bed and my shower and. Yeah, you don't want to smell us if we hadn't taken a shower for five days. Man, I don't want to smell you anyways. But uh, so uh, where are we at? How are we doing? Well, we got the first fire last night. Um, we need to get exhausted. We've got a lot of little things underneath the truck. We need to get it up in the air, but we're trying to button up the last little bit here. Yeah. I mean, we had a good day yesterday, even though visibly it doesn't look much different. There was so much happening. Um, and anyone who's ever built any car knows that this that second to last and last days are the, the most gets done. But. We've still got... The second to last day was actually the second day. Wait, what? Yeah, no. Well, anyway. There's five days. <laughs> yeah, so. five days. Yeah, so. the second to last day would have been to the, the second day. <laughs> hey. Woo! His brain's still working. At least his, he got some sleep. Come on, man. Y'all got to snap out of it. Oh, we're it's ready. Home we're run. Ready. It's victory lap today, so All yeah, right. we got a lot to do. So there you go, everybody. Uh, day five, my guys are tired. Everybody's worn out. But uh, I've been feeding them plenty. Yeah. and uh what good. have you so uh, everybody's eating good uh 
Make sure you keep watching on all our social channels. Uh, on top of that, uh, the truck's for sale. So if you got a real bid, throw it down at info at gasmonkeygarage.com or be here this afternoon. Hopefully we'll be uh, ripping some burnouts and uh, if you're standing here with the most cash, maybe you own it. I'm super proud of my guys. Uh, I'd like to say that uh, we're gonna have this thing running here in just a little bit. So I'm gonna get off this and get off that and let them get on it. Woo! Anybody bring Yay. breakfast? I wish I need just this much of that energy. Dude. Gosh. Well, I slept since eight last this night. This is a true fact. <laughs> the real trick is whoever buys this truck can race my 454. Well, we got a first fire this morning, really early, about 2.30, and we got about four hours sleep and we're back now. So we're dragging a little bit starting out. Um, right now we're buttoning up the grill, the front bumper, the rest of the panels to the truck. I think we're even gonna set the hood, get the hood in place. Now that we know we have no fuel leaks, we've uh, no leaks to speak of yet, knock on wood, we can start putting the rest of the truck together. Then we're gonna get it up in the air, we're gonna put the exhaust on, we're also gonna get uh, the e-brake cable situated, check through all the suspension one more time, uh, and then lastly, bring the truck down, test fire again, make sure everything is good to go once we have an exhaust, then back it off the lift, get the seat in it, and at that point, we're pretty much ready to bleed the brakes and then drive this thing around the parking lot. It was on the outside of that, right? Who put these brackets on? They slide inside the frame. Oh, in the frame, yeah. my bad, that's right. So we're down to that last couple of minutes now. We've got the brakes bled. We're putting the wheels back on for the final time. Everything's buttoned up underneath the truck. If she starts, she does what she's supposed to. We're throwing a seat in this thing. We're gonna let Richard get out in the parking lot and do what he's wanted to do all week, do some burnouts. Hi guys, so what's the deal, man? I am really in need of a beer at 6.15. That's a cup holder. Oh, you said you needed a beer. Well, I mean, you're trying to put the dashboard on. Oh, I'm trying to do. You gotta put some your gloves now. My driving gloves? Yeah. Hey, you know, technically, um, our five days isn't up till 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Do you know that technically, I would really like to drive this truck and have some beer this evening? Well, then technically ask these two if they'll start it for you. We'll start it up, fools. Are we all ready? Let's do it. Come on! Well, 72 hours in. Yeah, we, we are trying to program it, so. Fingers crossed. Is that a cow hood? Yeah. Damn! They don't fool around. Straight up 90s. Did yes. y'all put oil in it? Yep. Yeah. You got 60 pounds. Yep. It's learning. You just got to remember. I get it. It's all new. Why is it cutting off? See, you're getting all anxious. We're trying. I am. I'm freaking out, man. It's. It, did we build a hybrid? Yep. Oh. <laughs> no, never. We don't even have a seat in this thing yet. Oh, that's four bolts. And we got to have the AC thing in. What are you talking about? Don't freak me out, man. <laughs> We're We're we, still have, we still have time. Oh, it's Friday. I'm usually like four beers in by now. Does it feel good not being four beers in? No! <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you, Chad? <laughs> Arrow's facing the wrong way. Arrow's the wrong way? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a pretty smart motherfucker, aren't I? Well, I can't say that yet. <laughs> <laughs> haven't fixed anything yet. Okay, it's plugged in now. You clear? You clear? No whammies. Yeah! Woo! We're never gonna hear the end of this. Ever. Ever gonna hear the end of this. <laughs> oh, God. I can't believe you're right. I called it. I hey, called it. I can't believe you're right. <laughs> I... <laughs> Woo! Good job, man. <laughs> Get you some of that. Unbelievable. 
all the way down to the frame, all the way back up, running, driving, and doing everything it's supposed to do. Hell, even the radio. Oh, yeah. We're talking about a full build, guys and gals. We're talking about a full build. Unbelievable. Best hot rod building team in the world. I challenge anyone to be able to do this. Now, we've done it 165 times, but that's usually in about three and a half, four weeks. So, if you watch the show, you know that the thing is, will it do a ripper? Well, we're fixing the five now. As I like to say, get you some of that. Yeah. To the baddest motherfucking car builders on the planet, you guys literally killed it. This is amazing. And 75, right at seven. Hours. We'll get the official minute count, but 75 hours done. Thank you. I'm very proud to be in your presence. Yeah. So there you go. I'm very tired. Ready? Oh, Boom! Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah! Uh, Woo! So, when building hot rods was cool when I was young, you didn't have all these computers and all these problems. So, we've got a perfectly built truck here, ready to rock and roll, but we got a computer problem. So, that's why I brought in my favorite uh, millennials. Actually, there's no millennials that work on trucks here. They just work the, the you're the millennial. Yeah, that guy behind the camera. I'm not going to admit it, but I'm a millennial. You're a millennial? Damn it. <laughs>